Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mananam Anjali Hey. And today, finally, we heard the news that the CBI investigation is being started on Sushant Singh Rajput's death. Yeah. Mystery. I'm going to call it a mystery because at first, like everybody else, we believed what the news was telling us, that it was suicide, and there was a lot of fingers pointing that way, right? Yeah, like, and then it started into more of a questioning, a lot of people questioning, what if he didn't commit suicide? And then we watched a video about the rope and the punch in the face and different things about that. Yeah, so they kind of finagled us in with the some of the tweets like nobody's watching my movies they're gonna kick me out yeah um so maybe he was going through depression and so you were like okay that makes sense um but yeah then we watched that video and i had seen a few pictures and when i saw the punch in the eye that was my first thought was like why would he punch himself in the eye before suicide. before committing suicide so that kind of question before even I heard any of these other rumors and then when we started getting into a little bit more of the rumors I was like wow like the choke line you would think would be higher up yeah it was a little bit more down and then video games were playing like wouldn't he looking at the stars or something different than something, playing video games something that you knew he loved like or a lot of people write a note or send a mess like a last message yeah. to their family. Um, so that's kind of weird that there was nothing like that. Like he wasn't doing something he loved to do or he wasn't doing, you know, saying his last goodbye. Um, that was really kind of odd for him. Um, but then there was the whole like he hung himself from the ceiling fan where the bed was underneath. And that's, like, completely... He's a tall guy. Like, yeah. Ha, is he holding his knees up? Like, I don't know if the police were out to lunch or they were trying to cover up stuff because they weren't sure what to let out in the media. Like, yeah. So I am glad that there's, like, outside investigation that they're going to, you know, go through piece by piece and hopefully, hopefully find out what really happened and get some closure for everybody you know yeah. if if it was murder hopefully you find out who did it um and if it was suicide because of depression because people were being mean to him hopefully they find those people too yeah and we've seen so many of his movies the more recent one um, um was a tearjerker though. yeah del Batari. yeah I think I would watch it over and over again if I didn't need a box of tissues every single time. Like, yeah. it was really good. Um, but really sad. Yeah. Tachori is another good one. Um, you know, MS Doni, he played an amazing job in that one. Yeah. Like, almost twin. Um, yeah. So, it's just sad that he was such a smart guy. And, you know, I think his success was a lot in the movie industry maybe not the way he wanted it to be and i think nepotism was part of that like not letting him go grow as much as he could have um but it's just sad but we're glad that there's finally an investigation going on yeah hopefully hopefully we'll find out some real answers but um we do have some clips from some of sushant singh's friends or so-called friends um, that we're going to play now. Yep. He waited for three years to get a chance. But Sandeep, you say that you were not in touch with him for I 10 months and you are one of his two closest friends. Did you ever try to contact him or his family in this period? Did it yep. not worry yep. to you that you had not spoken to him for 10 months? Actually, we were, we were in touch through SMS, Arnab, uh, to be very When was honest. the last and message? When, uh, uh, we had planned after Lonawala uh, I don't remember that, but we were, matlab, because uh, we were always in touch because he used to like my mother's uh, uh, mutton curry, so I used to always go to his place with my home food. And uh, we used no, to plan you say that, you know, I don't, one thing I just together. want to clarify, and Sandeep, don't take it otherwise, but you say that you don't think he committed suicide. Yeah, 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 so yeah. why was it that till Not last month, last month, you said that uh, we all go through ups and downs, I have also been under depression. But ye galat rasta chuna usne. Why did you say usne galat rasta chuna and now you're telling me on the channel that you don't believe he killed himself? 
But you said your public statements were that he killed himself. Now you he are saying it, you don't think he, he killed himself. He still can't Why? believe that actually that has happened, Arnab. Yeah, for somebody who talks like they're best friends, that they've been friends for many, many years, like, you would think not reaching out for him to 10 months. 10 months, that's a long time. Plus all the hardships he's been going through, like, you would want to look on him on social media, right? Right, like, where and he then said, would, like, watch my movies. And then you would respond, like, why are you, what's happening? Is there something going on? Mm -hmm. And then you, you don't know the last message you sent to him. Does that mean you really yeah. didn't have contact message to message with him? Right, does that mean you're not really his friend? Or now are you suspect? Yeah. Right, like, were you involved somehow in this? when your answers aren't matching up. First aren't you clear. say suicide and, you know, depression, and now you're saying murder and, you know, haven't talked to him in 10 months, but now you're saying, like, oh, we were messaging. But don't know what the last message was. Yeah, that's really suspicious on, on a lot of levels. Yeah. Um, let's watch the next one. Okay. But if you me that there was depression, आप आप बोल रहे हैं दो दवाइयां आपको याद नहीं है जो रिया चक्रवर्ती उसको देती थी मैंने आपको नहीं बोला ये क्या वो डिप्रेस्ड व्यक्ति था सर आप मुझे वाज ही अ डिप्रेस्ड मैन आई एम आस्किंग यू व्हेदर ही वाज अ डिप्रेस्ड मैन आई एम आस्किंग यू व्हेदर ही वाज अ डिप्रेस्ड मैन डिड डिप्रेशन सेट ऑफ सुसाइड ही ही वाज कट गया no, you're not running away from my program. Give him back yeah, the phone. Viewers, he's running away. Viewers, Siddharth does not want to answer the questions. He does not want to answer the questions. This is extremely suspicious. Can we put the phone back in his ear? Here is a person. And this man has gone to Hyderabad. I'm asking him some very straightforward questions. He should take the questions. Yeah. The line is not cut. I want him to come back. There are serious questions which need to be asked here. It's really hard for me to believe that these guys were roommates or best friends with No. Okay, I get losing touch as a best friend. Sometimes you kind of lose touch. Life gets crazy. Um, but a roommate, you're living in the same house. You're going to know they're like when they're not feeling well, when his they're not doing well. His behavior changing. Yeah. Or like looking at his social media, which he posted a lot of stuff, and you would be like, wouldn't you ask him like if there was something wrong? If what you could do to help him? Yeah. Talk to him. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine Sushant is... I mean, he talked in his speeches about being an introvert, but I think living with a roommate and, fr and being with friends... He would be more comfortable around them so yeah. i can't imagine him like just um being quiet all the time you know mm -hmm. but yeah you would think they would have an idea like something's going on he's not maybe eating or he's in his room way too much or like you said if your best friend i mean i know who do you think when we started this channel i asked everybody i knew to like subscribe and you know so you would think all of his friends would be on his Twitter so they would see him say, like, please watch my movies. They're going to kick me out. Like, yeah, that would be like signs of, you know, depression. Yeah. A sign for help. If this is really the case, like, like we said, I'm so glad that they are doing the CBI because there was just way too many questions, too many things yeah. like could be this, it could be that. And, you know, we really would like to see some answers um, and if somebody is at fault, they need to be charged with his murder. Yeah. You know, the looking at Bollywood, we know there's the nepotism. We know there's like the mafia and they get to choose and pick whose movies get thrown out there and whose movies In the don't. Movie theater, yeah. yeah. And you know, who gets the big box office or the lead roles and whose family and their family. We know all this stuff happens. You know, the one person that really stood up for Sushant and, and this nepotism was Kangana. Yeah. You know, she really talk, spoke out against it, said, you know, if it was suicide, now this was when we thought it was suicide, um, that it, he was forced to do it because he was, you know, movies were going into just onto Netflix and they weren't going in the movie theaters. They weren't promoting him. They, they weren't giving him awards for movies like Chichori that or yeah. amazing and he should have gotten awards for you know but i wish there were more people that spoke out for him you know said like yeah this stuff happens we need to work to change it or i wish you know like 
you know, some people would say like, he could have called me and I would have helped him through this, you know, but there wasn't a lot of that. Um, and he didn't, as we can see here, didn't have very many good friends that would mm -hmm. help him through it. So, yeah, yeah, it's just sad. And there's a lot of big stars, you know, that take over the movie theaters. We know um, a lot of the cons to are big, big shots in these movie theaters. And which is fine. They're great actors. But when people like Sushant Singh are up and coming and he's an amazing actor and doing a wonderful job, but he can't move up because of these guys, because of the nepotism, because of the mafia that's going on, you know, these younger people that need a chance that are good aren't never gonna get, get that it. chance, yeah. you know, when you have this group up there. And, but it's our fault too. Like we blame ourselves. We should have watched more of his movies. We should have done more of his trailers. I, should, I wish I was on Twitter if I had known like, you know, that he was calling for help. This was happening. We yeah. would have totally been watching his movies because his movies are amazing. Yeah. And he's a really good actor. Yeah. It's just sad. And and to, then we see in the news that, um, you know, Amir Khan is hanging out in Turkey for um, vacation. Yeah. You know, we don't want people that aren't nationalistic. You want to support people that support the country. Like Sonu Sood. He's out there helping people, but mm -hmm. he's only in been a India. background character. Yeah. Yeah. He's been helping people in India. He's been giving up his hotel and his time and getting buses one thing after the other. And we have, you know, one of the biggest stars in Bollywood is hanging out in Turkey, India's enemy. Big enemy. But he, like, it's like, you guys are still going to watch my movies, so he doesn't really care. Yeah. These are the pictures that are in the center of the world. नीली चेक शर्ट पहने अभिनेता आमिर खान है और तुर्की के राष्ट्रपति की पत्नी एमिन एर्डोगन ये दूसरी तस्वीर जिसमें एमिन आमिर खान को कुछ दिखा रही हैं और ये तीसरी तस्वीर जिसमें आमिर और एमिन बैठे हुए हैं What is he doing there? I mean like why is he even there? The only reason he's there is because he knows people are still going to watch his movies. You guys are still watching his movies. We've seen it because the mafia would have already pushed him down if you would stop watching his movies, but you're still watching his movies and his movies are still going into the movie theater and he's still making money. Yep. And so he feels like he can do anything. You know, you want to go on vacation, you want to go to a place. Go there are many other countries that are friends with India that are also Muslim countries. If this is the reason you're going. Yeah. You don't have to go to Turkey that it that's fighting with India that doesn't agree with India that puts Kashmir on the stage too like buddy buddy with Imran Khan like that these are not the people you want to support no. you want to support Indians no matter race you know religion color it doesn't matter if they love India if they stand behind India whether they are in India or they go somewhere else you want to be proud that they are Indian yeah this doesn't seem like he's proud to be Indian and not if this is how slightest. like nepotism works like you need to watch the movies of the people that you want to be like. Like Sonu Sood. Mm -hmm. He's out there spending his money, spending his hotel to give to other people to help them through this virus. Yeah. But that's not the movies that we can tell that you guys are watching. You're watching the con movies, which is... Yeah, and we haven't seen, because if they were doing what Sonu Sood was, they'd be in every single newspaper all across the world. But since Sonu Sood is doing it, it's different because he's only a background character and you haven't seen him in many movies. Right. So he needs to n not end up like Sushant Singh. He's yeah. doing way too much. So we said before, like, politics would be good for him, like, um, because he really likes to seem to help people or he needs to be when this is over and movies can go back to running up in the way they were he needs to be the main character he is yeah. a, a, another amazing actor that gets the backstage mm -hmm. kangana too she's yeah. another amazing actress that we know gets backstaged um it's just sad that this goes on and i hope this investigation 
pulls out enough people from under the rug that this mafia gets destroyed. And yeah. people have to do, if you are good at acting, you do well. Not and if you know somebody. to the country. Yeah. You want, like... Like, I'm going to relate it to uh, Bhagwan Ram. Yeah. You want somebody that you look up to, that you want to be like, that is for the country, that is for the people. You know, yeah. you don't want to look up to somebody who's going to buddy buddy to with Turkey. Turkey or China or anywhere else for that matter. Yeah. Like, you want people to have similar values to you and those are the people that you want to support and unfortunately Sushant saying we're all a little bit too late but hopefully we'll get some answers soon right yeah so hopefully um the CBI investigation goes well mm-hmm and we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.